When it comes to portfolios, binders, and binder pages for Magic the Gathering and other trading card games, there seems to be a renaissance of new ideas and innovation. Four-column binders designed for showing off playsets are being developed by more and more companies, and this video will evaluate BCW's four-column portfolios, as well as the new Pro Pages and Zippered Leatherette Z-Binder. We'll also compare and contrast these to the Ultra Pro 4 Pocket Pro Binder. Choice is always a good thing, but making the wrong choice for you can cost precious money. So before you buy, it is always best to have as much information as possible to help you make an informed decision. Let's take a look at these products, shall we? Let's start with a classic solution, the Ultra Pro 4 Pocket Pro Binder. This has always been such a simple and readily available solution, long before four column binders were even available, because its four pocket pages can be used to hold and display play sets, albeit in a two by two fashion. The quality of these are right on par with their full size nine pocket Pro Binders. The interior side loading page are acid free and are above average quality but are prone to scuffing and becoming cloudy over time. The exterior is where quality is lacking. The cover is a very thin plastic and these elastic bands quickly become stretched and more of a hindrance than a help and the strap is always getting caught on things. Multiple colors to choose from and holds 160 cards. Overall this is the same quality and grade as the 9 pocket version, B-. BCW, whose binders previously earned only satisfactory grades from me, has redesigned its premium line of binders. The Z Folio LX is their jump into the world of four column binders, and I see an exciting reinvigoration here as well. The portfolio contains 12 pocket side loading double pages, and BCW really shines in regards to the interior of these binders. One of the many problems with the Ultimate Guard Quadro Zip Folio were the overly loose pages. And one of the problems with the monster line of portfolios are the overly tight pages. But BCW got the size and tension of these pockets just right. This is the perfect fit for unsleeved, single sleeved, or double sleeved cards alike. The exterior is leatherette, which looks nice but is also prone to scuffing. And the covers have a good firmness to them. I'm also really glad to see a zipper, which provides perfect protection in the unlikely event that cards slip out during transport. There's one more advantage to the BCW, and that's price. Whereas the 4 portfolio, which is now thankfully starting to be available in retail stores like Card Kingdom, it costs $49.99 on average. And the Ultimate Guard Quadro is costing just under $40 from a distributor like Potomac at $38, with shipping most likely. The BCW Z Folio LX is only $28.99 on average, and unlike the other two, it is widely available in the United States. Holds 480 cards. Overall quality and design is a very high B+. But at such a low price, I'm bumping this up to an A- and naming it the best budget 12 pocket portfolio. Keep those prices down and that quality up, BCW. BCW has also recently released new binder pages, the Pro Pages, which are colored and side loading with textured backs. Now, these are really interesting. Unlike the Ultra Pro side loading pages, these Pro Pages can hold sleeved cards. They have that same quality tension to the pockets as well. So you can use this for unsleeved, single sleeved, or double sleeved cards. Fabulous. These nine pocket pages are of course acid free. The pages are not very opaque. It is unfortunate that the colors couldn't have been fully opaque so as to provide a more premium framing of the cards. This is a superficial issue, of course. And I really like the different colors for organizational purposes. This allows us to do fun things like have red cards on the red sheets, green cards on the green sheets, blue cards on the blue sheets. Although, I guess that means BCW needs to release at least three additional colors. We need yellow for gold cards, multicolored cards, of course, and would it be gray or purple for artifacts? I'm not quite sure. Definitely brown for land. No, wait, for land? I don't know, but 
Let's see a few more colors, BCW. I do like this. And a pack of 10 is about $5.60. So that means cost is up there at about 56 cents each. A pack of 10 holds 180 cards in a three ring binder. Grade B plus. Speaking of three ring binders, BCW also is releasing what they are calling a heavy duty three ring binder. Same leatherette cover and I'm happy to see that zipper, although why does the end of the zipper protrude like this? This is really strange that it extends so far. Unzipping requires you to hold one end of this, and unless there's a purpose that I'm not getting, let me know if I'm missing the point somehow. I'm just not a fan of this overextension. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is price. BCW is pricing these at about $16.60? That's nuts. You can go down to any office supply store and purchase three ring binders, like just a basic three ring binder. Sure, it's not fake leather, and it doesn't have the zipper, which is more important, but it's also not 16 plus dollars. This is $2.99 at my corner office supply store. Want something fancier? The whole store is filled with binders. Get a leather one, get a zipper one. They're gonna be much less expensive and much higher quality. And the BCW three ring binder holds, wait for it, 20 pages. Come on, 20 pages is nothing. Here's my actual three ring binder. Can you see how many pages this thing holds? Far more, <laughs> yes, far more than 20. This one, by the way, which you've seen in other videos, which is the Wilson Jones brand, is I think about $4.99. And again, this only holds 20 pages. It's a three ring binder for over $16 that holds 20 pages, which is not very many. I mean, it works and it has a zipper, but I do not recommend this unless you are looking at this binder and thinking, wow, it absolutely meets your style and needs completely. This is a C minus, 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 minus. Now, I'm someone who likes Clever, and BCW's new Cleverly Compact Pro Folio LX is not only made with playsets in mind, but it tries to crack the code of displaying playsets of four cards without the awkward size. There's an elastic closure and the standard leatherette cover, but look at the size of this thing. This is the exact same size as a standard nine pocket portfolio like the Ultra Pro Pro Folio and yet it holds and displays play sets of cards. The pockets are different than the 12 pocket Pro Folio. Here cards are loaded in sideways and there's just a narrow opening running down the middle. Old single sleeve, double sleeved, and even unsleeved cards, although sleeved helps frame it in the center. These pockets are super secure. The opening is a bit on the narrow side and while the tension levels are right, it can sometimes be a bit hard to get cards in and out. Still, I can't imagine any cards ever sliding out of this, which is a major plus. Something that isn't a plus is the way that the front cover keeps closing on you, which unfortunately makes it awkward when dealing with some of the cards on the first few pages. Quality of materials is in line with everything else we have looked at today. Holds 320 cards, which is 40 less than something like the Ultra Pro 9 Pocket, and it's more or less comparably priced at 1920. Grade B+. I hope this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out a lot by hitting subscribe, sharing with your friends, or just by leaving a comment. And don't forget to come check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. And as always, whether you're buying portfolios or binders or just sheets, try and spend that money where you spend time playing magic. And that's at your local game store whenever possible. You're supporting your magic community.